Cool. Get him. And we should still have three open. Is there a sweeper? No, there's like nothing in here, yeah? Death touch? Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today in Ranked Mythic Standard, we're playing Selesnya Angels, building around a new card from Foundations, or rather a reprinted card, Gaiata, Font of Hope, a 2-mana 2 2-2 two -two angel with flying and vigilance. Each other angel you control enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it for each angel you already control, and you can tap her to add one white mana to cast an angel spell even after attacking with vigilance. The problem is, it's kind of a weird deck to build, because honestly, there aren't many good 3-drop angels uh, to fill. There aren't that many angels in general worth playing. Like, I think Sarah Paragon's a decent angel. Sakarta's a great angel. Silsteroff is a solid angel. Um, and then that's it. That's basically it. You can run the Holy Cow, a 3-mana 2-2 two -two Flash Flyer. You can run the Inspiring, Inspiring Overseer, a 3-mana 2-1 Flyer that draws you a card. You can run uh, Garden of Girapur, which doesn't really do a whole lot in this deck unless you're able to balance the Seraph and have it come in as a 5-4. Like, that's a decent thing to do. Otherwise, kind of just 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. Maybe you balance something of yours. It can block the next turn. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, it's but Resplendent Angel just really isn't good unless you can gain 5 life in a single turn, which is hard to do. So there aren't really that many Angels worth playing in Standard yet. So I took the deck a different direction. I was like, all right, let's just try to use Gaiata to ram it to four drops really quickly and use Lana War Elves towards that end as well. So with four copies of Lana War Elves and four copies of Gaiata, we should be able to consistently hit Sarah Paragon and or uh, Sakarta Font of Angels on three, which is cool because these guys are pseudo drawing. Sakarta itself is definitely a draw engine. You can play angels and humans off the top of your library. Um, and then Sarah Paragon is you can play uh, uh, permanence with mana value three or less back from the graveyard. So that's pretty good. I mean, a lot of things are getting picked off. You got Lightning Strike picking things off you know cut down go for the throat so i think it's very reasonable that by turn three already you have one or two creatures in the graveyard so sarah paragon can get those back so that's good and then one interesting thing is withdraw engines you benefit a lot more if you have extra mana lying around like if you can play cards off the top of your deck you want to go nuts but you're bottlenecked all mana so i threw an enduring vitality here as well I don't think I've, any, I've seen anyone really play this, but it's 3 mana 3-3 three, three with Vigilance. It's an enchantment creature, and creatures you control have tapped at 1 mana of any color. So if we have a lot of Vigilant creatures, which we do, Gata has Vigilance, Spellbook Vendor has Vigilance, Peacebook Peacekeeper has Vigilance, Steel Seraph uh, can give itself Vigilance, um, then you can attack with these, and then after combat, tap them to make mana, and then play stuff out with your Sigarda or Sarah Paragon. Then lastly, one more card to go. I threw in the Spellbook Vendor here for another 2-drop. It is a human along with a Peacekeeper, which means you can play it off Sigarda, although it's not an angel, but again, I don't think there are really enough angels to justify just going full angel here. It's a solid card. Again, it's a, a mana sink for the Enduring Vitality. You can pay 1 mana, um, stick a uh, Sorcerer roll token on something, and get a little scry extra every turn which is nice to kind of serve as a pseudo card draw engine in the deck there are a couple other things i thought about trying i think i might go back and try them again next time and that is splashing blue for bants for some combination of errant and Gaiata. again allows you to cast spells with flash or flying off the top of your library some pseudo card draw there Kellen the kid which could pair well with all this stuff um it's a human so it can be cast off of this sagarda and uh flying as well so it can be cast off errant and Gaiata. um whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than the hand which is a couple different places in this deck uh, you can then cast something straight out of your hand for lesser mana value that seems kind of cool or put a land and then shauna is a lifelinker and since we have a good amount of lifelink in the deck you know just like a shelter by ghost lifelink a still seraph random lifelink on something i could totally see um throwing some shauna in there for some extra draw power as well i might try blue next time but for today this is it enjoy the gameplay let's dive right in on the play looks great fast land it's the scamp mono red Got up. I guess we're blocking here. If our opponent is so gracious as to let us. Either they're raiding it or they're getting ready to shock. Yeah, we will offer the trade. Let's see how crazy they can go. Okay, inside out. Four to the face. Make a manifest creature. Another scamp. Ooh, that's going to be good. I think you just peacekeep here. Try to keep them off their plan. Oh boy. Boros Charm. Double Strike. It's pretty annoying. Slick Shot's an issue eventually, but not immediately. I think you just take the Boros Charm here. That's kind of the card that gives us the most trouble. And this blocks pretty well. Let's say top deck. It's a good top tech. It's a good fucking top tech. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Down down the rabbit hole. 
to 12. It's another Gaiata. We give them the 4-4. They do have Boros Charms. They can give something double strike. Don't know if it's enough. Feels like too little too late. Dude's about to pop off with the second top deck of Shelter by Ghosts. I can feel it. No. That's not so scary. We're given a turn here. Gaiata off the top, I guess. And then that's all we do this turn. Double strikes gonna be pain in the ass next turn. We could double Gaiata here, I guess. You don't have vigilance, right? Just flying, yeah. Keep the 4 4. We have a pair of 4 4 flyers. We got some blocks this turn. The game's not over yet. Steel Seraph with lifelink on a vigilance creature could be pretty good. Here comes the Boros Charm turn. Slick shot first. Okay, so that's 3 3 double strike, right? I think you just give him the Gaiata. I um, mean, we like our draw engine for the most part. It's nice that it's Vigilance because the Steel Seraph does do some stuff, but I think it's just this. All right. 3-3, three, three, double strike. First strike. Trade. We keep Sigarda. Shelter by Ghost on top is pretty huge. Okay, we could throw lifelink here. It's probably not bad. We have a 5 5 to block still. Up to 16, shelter on top. We're getting close. Let's see if it's the attack all button. Just you. Uh, yeah, we'll take the block. Let's see what you got. Boros charm, double strike, trade. Oh, you got something else? Rage 2. Lauren's escape, indestructible. Alright. That's okay. Shelter by ghosts. Land on top. I think Sigarda here. Cat is not bad either. I mean, really anything with Hexproof is not bad, but the swing's the hardest. We don't have any mana left. I don't think there's anything under there. To 7, go up 5 lifelink. To 20. Callus, Cell Sword. Uh, okay. Alright. Good game. On the play, no 1 or 2 drops. I think you mulligan this. Alright. That's a hand. Uh, put back one of the peacekeepers. Fastland, let's go. Mono white, life gain. I think we can beat that. I guess they'll scale up pretty hard too. Hmm, this will be interesting. I don't think they'll have removal on two, most likely, although it's possible. Nope, they're life gaining up. So we could take the Knight Errant or just go right into Sigarda. We don't really want to attack. I don't think they want to trade either. Yeah, we can attack if we can attack if we want. I don't think I'm gonna double block this. Free money. Let's go. All right, let's try Sigarda. Let's see how this goes. It's a five-five. Another guy out on top. And so the question is, do they knight errant in response? No. They do have the shelter by Goose. That's sad. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this turn we are going to peacekeep. Let's see what's in there. Innocence. Lauren, Lauren, Bat. I guess it's the Enduring Innocence. We don't have any artifacts or enchantments. Not yet. Yeah, it's got to be this. Shut off the draw engine. We can play the next Gaiata just to make the first one a little bigger. Uh, holds back the bat right now, though. I guess that's it for here. Weird start for both of us. But they can't really get through our wall yet. That's interesting. Let's just play a lot more things per turn. I don't want to give it the Peacekeeper yet. They eat it. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, the Steel Seraph really isn't good into the Lauren. It's really bad, right? I don't know how we'll ever play around that. But for now, I guess we're still just holding them back here, right? We'll keep this one. We have a 3-3 now. Okay, that's fine. That's not bad. Okay, 4-4, four, four. and we're land. Super weird game. We still don't really want to play the artifact. If we can wait for, they're never going to play the second Lauren though. So it's just awkward, unless we can get like a good flying attack off of this. Putting it on the Peacekeeper isn't great. We could get the Vendor in there, I guess. Double Scries? No. Uh, no, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Jump. Double Block. Sure. Again, I don't really want to play this out. Um, into the Lauren. Maybe they'll play Lauren this turn. Then we can actually get it done. They might try to pick off the Vitality. Get lost, you. All right, they can play the Draw Engine now. That's too bad. All right, they get the Draw Engine down. I guess we have to throw a lifelink on this thing. It's still not good into the Lauren. We really want to see that second Lauren come down, and it might come down next turn. Keeping this on top is weird because then they're not going to play the Lauren because they're just going to wait for it anyway. So we're actually going to bin that, as weird as that is. I'm going to run it back again. I also really don't want to see that card. Okay. For six. No more land. Just this weird niche card is, uh, put us in quite the bind. Down to eight. We're holding on here again. Let's see if the Lauren finally comes out. No. It's that guy. Great. <laughs> That's a card. Eventually, they chump block with the Flyers. Okay. Still not the Lauren. I need this card to come down so we can play our artifact. <laughs> not helpful. Get in there. Scry, land, bottom. The chump blocks begin. Maybe eventually we'll get Sigarda back. Okay. Alright, Lauren's gotta come down. It's time, right? Pick off the vitality or something? Finally, alright. This thing's down. We can finally play our freaking artifacts. Take out the scry, sure. It's a lot of life. Super awkward game for us. Huh, I mean, I don't think we're really planning on exiling you. I think we will take this block. Grows the channeler again, but what are you gonna do? It's gonna happen either way. Okay. That's great. Get back Sigarda. Try to go nuts. I think that's the play here. I think it's the bat. We can just play more blockers for the channeler. Auto pay. We got three mana left here. Land on top. Happy to see it. We already have lifelink, so we don't need to play the steel seraph now. Play another blocker. Okay. Sure. Looks like we're chumping with the steel seraph. 
I'm gonna destroy the enchantment, I guess. Destroy the shelter by ghosts, get back the bat with get lost. No, that make, doesn't make any sense. They should kill the Skarda. I don't know why they're touching everything. Maybe they have another Lauren. Is that possible? All right. They take the Sigarda again. Great. I mean, we're jumping with someone. I guess it's the Steel Seraph. Not sure what else to do. This has not been an ideal game of Magic the Gathering, I would say. We could have another shelter, though. We don't. We already knew that's on top. I mean, it's pretty much game. Let's see. So we go up to 19. And they need to play anything at all here. And they get up to 19. There's a land. They need any creature at all. We'd have to chump block. I don't think I really want to continue on. We could top deck the Sigarda again. Okay, then that creates the creature, and then we're forced to jump block. This has not been a very good game of Magic the Gathering for us. You don't really... I mean, we could top deck Sigurda and then um, play something else. It's a really long shot from here. But the Lorens were super awkward. We just couldn't play our artifact creature for the longest time. I'm sure we did nothing. Also scried a lot of lands to the bottom, too. So, that's game. We'll try again. On the play, we keep this. White. It's mono red. Again. Alright, here we go. One mana, suspiciously open. Looking for that shock. Burst lightning, done. Okay, that's all right. We got the Peacekeeper coming up. Ooh, that's a nice follow-up too. Oh boy. Probably, oh man, the Nemesis or the Mouse. I mean, they don't have the next land yet, so it's gotta be the Manifold Mouse. Well, let's see if they top deck land for the Nemesis. We'll have to deal with that eventually, but we can shelter the Nemesis away too. All right, slow turn. Very slow turn. No blocks here. I think this turn we get out of Shelter, and then Paragon next turn. Does that change anything? We could Vitality, Attack, and then Shelter after. But I think we're kind of okay with Gaiata Ang instead. Alright, take you. Get him dead. Okay, I'm thinking hard about that block. Yeah, no blocks. We're at 19. Do whatever you want. Scoop. <laughs> Feels good. A lot of games that have it all. This opponent, stuck on two lands. Screw you. On the draw, I mean, it's definitely keepable. It would be lovely to have a green land for the one drop, but got it into Steel Seraph is okay. That's not the green card I was looking for. Bat. Take our gata. Well, maybe not worth playing this game. Ooh, they take shelter by ghosts. That's not a bad draw. We don't have to show them that yet. Um, we are bottom-locked on green. But there's nothing we can really do about that. So we play gata. And then they just remove it immediately. But we do have the next land. Steel Seraph could survive lots of go for the throats, which is interesting. Ooh, Slasher instead. Okay. So that's where they're going. Well, it's still you. And I guess it's lifelink here. Two Vigilance lifelink in the air. Let's see if they just have the four mana Alcazaz demon. No, it's another bat. They can take as many elves as they want. We really don't care too much about that. Question is, are we trading with the slash or just letting it go? I think we're letting it go. Nope, we don't. Oh, they're going to go there. Non-artifact creature. Okay, now what? I think we're still letting it go. Take 12. Seems good. Land is not it. Thank you, deck. Uh, we'll go lifelink. It's a 14. We'll play out some chump blockers. We need some draw engine power. It's in the deck. We got eight copies of things. We got plenty of mana. 
Just gotta hit some playables. Okay, it's a big demon. Oh, the attack aug button. Yeah, we'll block this one. It's one of the cards we wanted. It's not gonna fix everything. Doesn't matter, we're not attacking this turn. Okay, so we have some chump blocks here. Sheldred the Apocalypse, my goodness. Can we double block the 6-6? Six, six? No, they want to keep the 6-6. Six, six. Okay, I think we trade the Steel Seraph here. We can always cast it back, that's okay with me. Hmm, still nothing good uh, to put here. Still cannot get through the 6-6. Six, six. Sarah Paragon's kinda gas, but uh, not even a gas. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, it's a big boy. We're getting closer to doing some things right here. In 8-7. That's not so bad. Still no good attacks yet. But the 8 7's coming. Down to 6. Okay, they gain a single point of life and they just win. <sighs> sure, you got it. I guess we have to watch the drain happen. It's fine. Just do your thing. Apparently you can't um, scoop once this is in effect. I think someone told me that. I don't know if I believe that or not. No, you totally can. When I was running this combo, they were like, you're stuck in it forever. Does not appear to be the case. You can scoop. It's just fine. On the draw, we can still keep this. We'll get some green. It'll be just fine. Ooh, the mirror. It's always tough. One to the top. All right. Double guard is showing up. Will do nothing. There's that green, though. I like that. Counter or removal. One of the two. Doesn't matter which way. Maybe they get rid of the cut down now. Cut down it is. Oh, baby, it's poison. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we take a look at that hand. Try to dissect it a little bit. Augury, whatever that thing is. Instant sorcery, rebound, dies. Huh. We don't have any poison counters. I guess you take the Ogier. What is this thing? Ogier Pak Patik. Okay, no four drop for you. A top deck or removal spell? They're just reading it. This turn we might go vitality. Uh, attack and then play uh, Gaiata after combat. Alright, there's the next green. Other option is to Sigarda. Kind of like just using what we got in hand. We don't need more cards off the top just yet. Tap for mana. We attack with Vigilance. Pumping out some cards here. There goes the cut down. That's okay. Fifth land. Augury, we still don't have any poison counters. It's a pretty quick pick. Could be a sweeper. I think we'll try to peacekeep. We finally get a poison counter. We have like seven mana this turn. I guess we're going to attack first and then Sigarda. Cool, get him. And then we should still have three open. Is there a sweeper? No, there's like nothing in here, yeah? Death Touch? I mean, I guess we take Ogier again. I don't know how we deal with the Death Toucher. But they're gonna cast that anyway. Bizarre. We can fly over for a little bit. We can get the um, Vitality in there. We can get one of the Peacekeepers. We can attack with both, really. One of them dies via Death Touch. Weird game. On the play, looks all right. Fast land. 
It's mono red. Well, we do have shelter. This is not the end of the world just yet. No thanks. Thank you. Nice. Okay. We're getting there. Need one more white. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Could have lifelink. And vigilance and all sorts of good stuff. Is it time to shelter? Attack all. How good is blocking here? Blocking here is not very good. Blocking here is also not very good. But I do think we go for the shelter. Shock face. Alright. Not as bad as rage, but you never know. Yeah, I think we still shelter while we can. We could take a look in the hand. It really is an option. <laughs> exactly 10 life. Holy shit. I guess uh, I guess we don't have to do that. Because we can lifelink now. Go up. And then just block both their things. Wow. That's so funny. I think we're okay. That's so funny though. Lifelink, please. Get out of 10 range. That's so hilarious. Dude. That's very funny. What's that last card, man? I think we're blocking different places. Um, we don't really need the ramp at all. Let's see, let's... We just don't know. Let's just do this. Horse Charm. Is that double strike? Or indestructible? Parents you control get indestructible until end of turn. Very exciting. Okay, that's the top deck pretty well here. I guess we put the shelter on the big boy. We'll play you out as well. We already have lifelink. And we already have flying. So you can be vigilance, and you actually also can be vigilance. Okay. Up to 15. Let's see that top deck. I'm going to be pissed if they attack all again. <laughs> Lightning strike. Okay. Game goes on. Think no blocks here. Drop to 12. It's a card. I think we're just taking lifelink and attacking back. Lifelink. Go. This deck needs more gas. What else can we put in here? We need more draw power, you know? I mean, we have it. We just haven't hit it. I don't think we're building the deck inherently wrong. Guess no blocks here. Double strike? Alright. Land. That's not gonna do it here. Lifelink. Again. Maybe hold back the, uh, the elf. We have six damage presented. Christ. <laughs> just take a chill pill for one freaking turn, dude. Just like... Can you just chill? Lightning strike here? Uh, They just want the pump? Yeah. Down to five. Another land. Okay, I mean, we're still going. We have no option. We need them to hit something like land for a turn. I don't know about that. We hit like a thousand lands. What kind of game is this? So they hit anything here. They prowess everything and go up to eight. They just need any instant or sorcery. Now they need any instant. Or a lightning strike. Or a shock. Or a rage. We cannot scoop fast enough. There's nothing to be done. Just lands to death. All right. Thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. It helps out so much. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.